In this video, we'll be again applying the distributive property to an adding like terms and then solving. And we'll look at uh, this type of example where we have a negative in front of a parenthesis. Okay? So we'll do this one together and then hopefully you can do this one yourself. So when you look, please write this one down 3x minus parenthesis negative x plus 5, negative 2x plus 5 equals negative 15. So now, when you look at that, um, what's there to do first? Any idea? So I guess a lot of students would see the negative negative and go, okay, plus plus, and they get that far. And then they'd write plus five, okay, which would be a mistake. So that's the type of error we're trying to uh, resolve. So um, if we follow PEMDAS, we need to multiply before we subtract and all that type of thing. We have something in parentheses, okay, and we have a negative sign outside of that. Now, what does that imply? What What does it mean to have a negative outside of a parenthesis? So, like, it means subtract that whole thing, subtract everything inside of there, right? So you got to subtract the negative 2x, but you also got to subtract the 5. Okay. Now negative negative is plus, and then negative positive is is a negative. So this should become a plus. That it should be a plus 2x, and then a minus 5 because you're subtracting everything. And one easy way to try to keep everything together is to say, look, how many bags have we? Like, what's the coefficient outside this parenthesis? You know, what's the number? So there's no like if there was a negative 4 there you would multiply by a negative 4. You might be used to that. So I mean, if you saw, if that was negative 4 times something, you'd multiply by a negative 4. But there's no number there, so we think, well, it's it's like having one bag, one uh, group of things. So we can stick a number 1 there, right? And multiply in with a negative 1. Here and here, okay? And that's a, that'll help us to subtract everything in there. Anyway, so if we multiply by a negative 1, what do we get? Negative 1 times negative 2x is plus 2x. What's negative 1 times positive 5? Negative 1 times positive 5? Negative times positive? Negative 5, right? And then you write out the whole uh, the rest of the equation. But that's really the key step is to multiply in with the negative 1, write it down, and then write out the rest of the equation and solve it. Okay, so you got a 3x here equals negative 15. Okay, and now we add like terms and solve it. So we've applied the distributive property on that first step. Okay, and now we need to add like terms and then we can solve. Okay. Now, what like terms do you, do you see there? What are the like terms? Well, we've got a 3x plus a 2x. The x's are like terms, aren't they? Right? So if you put those together, what do you get? That would give you a 5x. Okay. Then write out the rest of the equation. And then solve it, right? So press pause and continue from here if you haven't done so. Or so to, to solve it, we, the x is being multiplied by five, and then five is being subtracted. So we need to get rid of the subtract five by adding five, right? So if we add five to both sides, that'll give us five x on the left equals negative fifteen plus five negative 10, right? So we've got 5x equals negative 10. How do we get x by itself? We've got to divide by 5 on both sides, right? So you get x on the left, and what do you get on the right? Negative 10 over 5 is negative 2, okay? Now we're going to check this equation. Alright, just so you have some practice checking. And you don't have to check every single homework problem, but 
absolutely check every question on a test if you can. It's really good practice and it'll help you get a higher score. So you gotta write out the original equation, but wherever you see x you need to put in a parenthesis. Okay? So I can see an x here, so I'm gonna put parenthesis, right? So I'm gonna go three parenthesis minus and then I've got a negative two and then there's an x here. So I'm gonna put a parenthesis here, right? Then I'm gonna go plus five and I write out the rest, okay? So wherever I saw x I wrote a parenthesis and now we stick the answer into the parenthesis. So the answer we got was negative two. So we're gonna stick negative two in for x in the original equation and then calculate it out and see if it worked. Okay. So on the left, three times negative two is what? Oh, by the way, we probably should do the parentheses first, right? Negative time, negative two times negative two is four, right? Plus five gives what? Nine, right? So we have a three times negative two minus nine. So what can we do now? Three times negative two, you gotta multiply, right? Multiply negative six minus nine which is in debt six dollars subtract nine dollars you're in debt by fifteen dollars right so that is correct because we have negative fifteen on both sides right now write out this one negative x minus parenthesis two x minus eight equals negative four write it out and see if you can solve it yourself. So write it down, press pause, do the whole thing yourself and check your answer if you can. Uh, or just check the video at least to make sure you're doing it right. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm gonna go over it now. So we've got a parenthesis here and we've got a negative outside of it. That implies we've got to distribute the negative inside every term in there, okay? Now there's no number in front of the parenthesis, but we can say, look, there's one bag of stuff. That's just one bag, and so we can put the number one there and multiply it by a negative one. And that's really the key to this question. If you do that, then the rest should fall in place, I hope. So negative one times two x gives a negative two x. Negative one times negative eight gives plus eight. So if you got a negative 2x plus 8, I hope you should be able to do the rest. But that's the key, multiplying in with the negative 1. Then just write out the rest of the equation. Now we're going to add like terms. So we have applied the distributive property, right, with the negative 1. Now we're going to add like terms. Can you see any terms that you can add together? Well, you've got a negative x and a negative 2x, okay? So how would you add those together? Well, you've got to think of this. This is a negative 1x, isn't it? There's, there's two x's here, but there's only one x here. Stick a number 1 there, right? That'll help. That's one way to help out. The other thing you can do is when you see subtract do this plus negative. Subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite plus negative. Now it says negative 1x plus negative 2x. And that might help you to see what the answer should be. One negative plus two negatives. How many negatives is that? One bad guy plus two bad guys. That is negative 3x and then write out the rest of the equation. Okay, So a little adding like terms going on there. Now we've done the adding like, we've done the distributive property with a negative one. It'd be great if you could learn that. We've done adding like terms with a negative x, that was challenging too. And now we need to solve. Okay, so please continue from here. Press pause and continue from here if you haven't done so yet. Okay, I'll do it now. X is being multiplied by negative 3 and then 8 is being added. If you subtract 8, then keep going. If you subtract 8 from both sides, what will you get next? Well, 8 minus 8 is 0. You'll get a negative 3x 
equals negative 4 minus 8. That's in debt $4, and you subtract $4, what do you have now? You're in debt by 12. Or you can say 4 negatives and 8 negatives, 12 negatives, right? So it's negative 3 times x equals negative 12, right? To get x by itself, you divide by negative 3 on both sides, okay? And on the left, we have negative over negative, positive. 3 over 3 is 1, x. So positive 1x, or just x, equals. What do you get on the right? It's negative over negative, which is? Positive. You can write that down if you want. Positive. And 12 over 3 is 4. So x equals positive 4. And um, real quickly, to check that, you would simply write out the original equation, negative, and put parentheses wherever you see x. Okay, so there's an x here, put parentheses, and there's an x here, put parentheses, and we're going to plug in 4, right? And then if we simplify that, we've got to do parentheses here. 2 times 4 is what? That's 8 minus 8. So what do we get inside parentheses? 0. Write out the rest. Negative 4 minus 0 is what? In debt, $4, take away nothing. Minus 0 is just nothing. So 0. So you have negative 4, right? So we have the same thing on both sides. Draw a smiley face. That is the correct answer. The correct answer is x equals 4. Okay.